couch Dogs need the lessons Hey there, Furs. Welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle arrangement lesson right here on Lickin' Riff, in which we're going to learn country roads. First, I'm going to play with the arrangement so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're going to break it down lick by lick with tabs right here and everything so you can play it yourself. It goes like this. Enjoy. Okay, so once you're ready, put your second finger on three on the sixth string for a G bass note, okay? And you play it. And then you have, okay? It's zero, zero, two, zero on the D string. You can hammer on the two, okay? And I like to harmonize with the third string, okay? To get that country feel, okay? It's a country double stop, okay? That's what it's called when you play this sort of harmony. Okay, so that's it. Just one finger, the second finger on the G bass note. Okay, zero, zero, two, zero on the D string. You can harmonize with the third string. You can also harmonize with the second string. Okay, but then this might be kind of swallowed in the harmony. So that's why I prefer the third string alone as a harmonic note. Okay, so um, then you have E minor, and then you, again, you play the bass, and then you can play the chord, and it's kind of the same idea. Okay, the solo is on the D string, 2-0-2, two, two, and then the open third string, so... Okay, if you harmonize with the third string this time, it doesn't really work because you need it as a final note, so... You can harmonize with the fifth string this time. And then the open third string. Now it might be a bit uncomfortable if you're not used to it, but it's a good exercise as well. So, okay, to solo on the bass string. And then you have D. Now the shape you want to play for D uh, almost throughout this arrangement is this. Um, strings two and three on three and two, okay? Because you need the third finger for a solo note on four on the third string, okay? Okay, you're gonna do this a lot. So, um, okay, you play the D bass and then you can play the chord, okay? Strings two and three on three and two, or just two on the third string, because the solo is, okay, two, two, four, two. On the third string, okay, you can harmonize with three on the second string. Okay, you can hammer on the four. Again, it's the same motif. You can play, okay, as single notes or, okay, add a hammer on there. And then you have C. Now, the solo note is again a low note. It's two on the fourth, the D string, okay, with three on the fifth. So, Okay? And you play it right along with the first note. 
Okay, it's two, 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 and then a hammer on to two from zero, and then the open third string. So, okay, you have to be really careful. It's it's a thin harmony, but it's a fat sound because it's the bass strings. So you have to be really delicate when you pick it. Okay, it's a really good exercise. Uh, we finger stylists are used to soloing on the high strings. Um, which have a thinner sound, so they're more prone to dynamics. The bass strings are more delicate, so uh, this is a good exercise. Okay. And then you have the first line again. Okay. Exactly the same. Then you have E minor. Okay. Now the notes are uh, G and B. So it's open strings, but you can add uh, an ornamentation there. You can yeah, you can do this with a slide. So it's the open third string with E minor. Okay, twice or three times if you like. And then slide to four on the third string, open second string. So. Okay, but make sure you play the open second string with the chord again. Okay, because otherwise you lose the harmony. And then, um, okay, if you don't want to slide, you can just play. Okay, the third string three times, the second string twice. Okay, it works. Okay, but if you want to accentuate the line, slide to four on the third before you play the second string. And then you have D again, same shape. Exactly the same line. Two, 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 hammer on to four, two on the third string, harmonized with three on the second. Then you have C again, okay? This time it's the open third string three times and then two on the third string, you can hammer on. And then the third string again with G, okay? So three on the sixth string. Um, and again, you can harmonize with the D string. So, okay? And that's the verse basically, so G. Okay, E minor. Careful. And then D, C, G, E minor. With that slide, D, C. Okay, that hammer on to two on the third string, you can let go of the C chord, and then G with the open third string. Then uh, the chorus begins with G as well. Okay, so it's zero, two on the third string, and then the open second. And then um, you have a choice. You can play four, two, zero on the third string, okay, as a double pull off. Okay, and then you have D. Okay, the, the whole chord, but the note is two on the third string. Okay, so you can do, okay, you can do a farther ornamentation here uh, and embellish the line, okay, with two, four, two, zero on the third string. In my opinion, it sounds better than just four, two, zero. Okay, okay? in my opinion, it works a lot better. Okay, um, you can also do, Okay, you can slide from four to two and then pull off. Okay, also works, but in my opinion, um, you know, just for rhythmic purposes. Okay, it works, it kind of gives you a syncopation there. Okay, a kind of and one right before the D bass kicks in, so. You do exactly the same thing, or four two zero again. Okay, into an open third string with E minor. So, okay, I prefer again the two four two zero hammer on double pull off, and then okay zero three you can hammer it on on the second string, and then C. So. Rhythm and then okay, it's the open E string inside C and 
and then 3-3 three, three on the second spring, G bass, open second spring. Okay, so. Okay. And you just continue the rhythm there for a moment, and then this again. Okay, the move into a D chord again. And then a hammer on from two to four on the third string again. So, um, okay. okay, you add the four at the end there. And then you have, okay, again, two, uh, two, four, two, zero, and then C, okay, with the open third string. Same move into E minor and into C. You did it into E minor two bars ago, and now you do it uh, into C. And then you have, ah, uh, sorry, okay. And it's hammer on to two on the fourth string this time, and then, okay, the third string twice, and then a G chord. So. That's that chorus. Hammer on to two on the third. G. D. E minor. C. G. D again with four on the third string. And then C. And then G. Now for the bridge, you can do Okay, three, two, zero on the sixth string. Okay. Okay, you can play the chord in between. Um, okay. Or just three, two, zero into E minor, and then it's the third string three times. And then you have this. Okay, it's four and five on strings four and five. And then hammer on to two on the third string. So you can use these fingers, okay, three and four, for four and five on strings four and five. Okay, and then you can add the two on the third string. Okay, so. Okay, and you can just solo it. Okay, you don't have to play the whole chord. Okay, this is, by the way, a D chord hit. Okay, it's a, it's a D triad. So, and then you have uh, this. It's uh, G with the second string twice. And then you can do okay, three pull off to zero, two pull off to zero on strings, two and three. Okay? Or this again, so. Okay, if you like, but it's too much in my opinion here. Uh, that's why I play two pull off to zero. Then you have C, and it's just one one uh, on the second string. And then the open second string with the G again, and then, okay, it's zero, zero, 002 on the third string into D again, I just play the bass, and then two hammer on to four, two on the third string, so C, G, and then D. You can play the three on the second string as well. There's a harmony. E minor, just the second string, and then F with two on the third string as your melody note. Then you have C with the open third string, and then G with the open third string, and then uh, okay. Now you can do this. Okay, you can play two on the third string and then the open second string with D. And then two again on the third string, or okay, soloing. Two hammer on to four, four, two on the third string. And then you can play D. And then two hammer on to four on the third string again, and then D7. Okay, just D7. Now I play strings two, three, and four, like I play the D chord. Um, you can add the two on the E string this time because um, this is kind of like a a high moment in the song, kind of like a peak moment. So, okay. Um, then, then you 
can play the chorus again. Now the lick that I played at the end is this. Right? It's slide to nine on the third string. And then eight on the first. You can slide from seven. And then slide down to seven on the third, seven on the first. And then I slide down to five on the third string. And play G, strings two, three, and four, open with three on the sixth string. So, okay, you can use your thumb if you like. Um, you can also play three on the E string as well. So, okay, you can use the thumb and a finger. So, okay, like this. Or, okay. Um, so that's Country Roads. So download the tab, the link is below in the description. It's for free, just like everything here on Lick and Riff. It's called Lick and Riff Free Guitar Education for a reason. Uh, but if you want to give something back anyway, there's a Patreon link as well. Everything goes right back into Lick and Riff into making you your free lessons. Uh, so I thank you in advance for your generosity and I will see you again in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and um, enjoy. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.